Hey, what's up guys? This is Nick Hodge with Sellers Arena and today I'm going to be talking about one of my favorite strategies on Amazon and that is using their clip coupons on product listings to give customers an additional discount. I'm going to go through a full walkthrough of the different benefits and how they show up on Amazon in 2022 along with a step-by-step -step walkthrough of actually how to set them up. Let's get into it. Okay guys, so the first thing I wanna go through as far as coupons, and this is mainly for Seller Central, I'm gonna be making another video where I talk specifically about Vendor Central, so stay tuned for that. But yeah, this is gonna, we're gonna go all through Seller Central in this one. This is one of my favorite things is using clip coupons to help increase click-through rate and conversion rate. So definitely take some notes on this one and feel free to watch it again if you think you missed something but first thing is i just want to go through kind of the benefits of this show you them in use and then we're going to actually show you how to set them up currently there's a couple different ways you can do it and you know amazon's added some things to make it easier this can help you with your click-through rate whether it be as they're scrolling through the search results so Let's go ahead and switch over. So, you know, say these uh, blow dryer hair brushes, a lot of different types, a lot of different competitions, but you can see these ones with these green coupons on there, they stand out, okay? So this is gonna help you stand out amongst the competition. All right, so that's number one. Number two is conversion rate. So, you know, when they actually get into the listing, you know, they're reading all about the product and, you know, they see that, yeah, they're going to get this 30% off also when they click that. That's great. So this can help with your conversion rate also. The next thing I want to show you guys is and this has come along with the introduction of sponsored brand ads and sponsored display ads is these those clip coupons are not only showing up in the search results like I, I just showed you to help you stand out there, but it's also helping you show up and stand out on the listings. So when you're doing your product targeting, keep in mind, if you add that coupon discount, that's gonna show up on the sponsored display ad that shows up on your competitor's listing. Now this is specifically the sponsored display ad. Also here too, okay, this is one that has a brand, their logo showing and the custom headline. But yeah, it would also, I've seen it, you can search for this yourself, where it'll also show that clip coupon there too. It will not show on the sponsored product targeting ads. I have not seen those here, but again, the sponsored display ads, but also, yeah, sponsored display and sponsored headline. You can see this other one that I was just in. This is that listing here that I have pulled up another tab. Okay, so their 30% off clip coupon is showing up here on this huge ad showing up at the bottom of the page. So keep that in mind, guys, when you're running these, when it's extra incentive to run these ad and have that coupon on there to help steal that sale from that competitor that may not have a discount or they may be priced higher. Okay, because you can see like this guy here, very similar product he's not only lower priced, but he's also got the 5% off. And if we're comparing that to Revlon, this is a huge brand. But again, this is a new guy coming in here and he may steal that sale because not only is he cheaper, it's a very, very similar product. He's got a decent amount of reviews and he's got that 5% extra off. You never know, could work to steal the sale. Okay, the next thing I want to do here is I want to jump into the back end of Seller Central here. We're going to go into exactly how to set these up. Make sure you're fully updated and ready to go for 2022 for all your marketing and advertising efforts. All right, number one, advertising tab. You're going to go down to coupons. And first thing you're going to notice here up at the top right, you can just create a new coupon like normal or you can create in bulk. Okay, so first let's go ahead and go through just creating one like normal. All right, so first thing you're gonna do is select the ASIN or product name. Let's see, we'll go ahead and type that in. Okay, get that pulled up. Okay, we'll select that and you're gonna click continue at the top. All right, 
Then you're gonna select your duration for your coupon between one and 90 days. It'll tell you here that it will start as soon as six hours after the coupon submission, okay? So you pick your start date, which can be as early as right today is the ninth. So we could start that today and it will start, well, six hours later after the submission. End date, maximum 90 days out. And one of the cool things we'll talk about in uh, Vendor Central in the next video is you can have it run for the whole year. For now, Seller Central, set discount, enter the discount amount you want to apply for the products you added to your coupon for your steps. So yeah, you want to do money off or percentage off. Now, here's something I like to definitely worth mentioning. You want to make it easier for your customers to understand. I mean, we even saw in the previous screen I was on where they were doing a lot of percents off. Now, when you look at percents off, do you know immediately like actually how much money you're getting off? Probably not. Most of the time you want it to be much easier if you think about it and much easier to make a decision if it was in a dollar amount. So, okay, you can actually change that here to show a dollar amount off. In a lot of cases, I feel like this is a lot better because people don't like to do math. And if you want to make that decision easier, whether or not they want to go with your product, do a dollar amount off. If it's a big amount off, like 40% off or 50% off, or maybe even 30, you know, there's a, you can experiment with this, but it's going to be look better. Um, it's much easier, especially if it's like 50% off or even 40% off, which is almost half off. They can easily do that and like, wow, that's a huge discount and no big deal. But again, a little more tricky when it's the smaller discounts and you may want to think about doing actual dollars off. For this quick example, we'll just say $2 off and set your budget. So this is where it can get a little complicated. Um, you do want to make sure that you set this properly or that it doesn't run out sooner than you want it to. Okay, so if you're planning to run this for the entire duration, you need to kind of calculate, you know, approximately how much budget you're going to need based on the amount of coupon clippings you're going to get. Okay, so let's just check this real quick. So budgets are not hard limits. Coupon budgets are for planning purposes only and budget overshooting should be expected. But however, your coupon will be deactivated when it reaches 80% utilization. And we've seen this with other clients, unless your budget is a real big concern for this while you're running this campaign, just set it really high so you don't have to worry about it running out. And just pay attention to the stats on your discount. And we'll look at that on the dashboard in a minute to see where it's at currently, to see if it's close to running out, et cetera, et cetera. All right, so we'll just set this for really high. Because for this account, we don't, we're not really worried about it. So we set it for $10,000 coupon title. So here kind of get creative. Let me give you an example here. Save 15% on hand sanitizers, save $2 on whatever product it is. Okay. And they give you some title guidelines here. So you can read through that. Uh, they give you some do's and don'ts to do for your title. Okay. Targeting you may choose to limit the audience of your coupon to one of those customer segments below. Okay, so that would be prime members, student members, or family members, or just have it all customers. Okay, so we'll just build this in. And select that. We're just gonna do all customers and continue. And there you go, you can review your submission here and then click submit. Let's look at one that expired here. So here we can see an old one that we ran, budget $100, discount 15%, spend $81, 21 clips, 14 redeemed, and the sales. Okay, so you can get an idea as, you know, the ones that you have running. So if you click here, if we did have any running, you could then see those metrics as they're running. Okay, so pay attention to that. If your budget is tight, as my main point, if you're trying to make sure you don't run out and your coupon ends or something like that. Okay, so here, create in bulk is the other option. Say, for example, if you wanna get a whole bunch of coupons, 
created at the same time. Say you have a ton of products, a ton of different ASINs, and it's going to be kind of tedious to go through one by one to set these all up in different ways with different discounts. They have different prices, et cetera, et cetera. You're going to want to do this in bulk. And so we'll click here and it will take us over. You're going to download the template. And once you're done with the filling out the template, the downloaded uh, Excel file or CSV, you will then choose to upload that file here once it's complete. Okay, so I've already got one downloaded. I'll pull that up here and we'll just quickly walk through that. It's basically gonna be the same things, but again, it's gonna give you the options to drop in lots of different ASINs in this column at the same time. So here you can see you can enter up to 200 parent ASINs or 8,000 child ASINs that you want to run coupons on. The ASIN should be semicolon separated. If you add a parent ASIN, all child ASINs will automatically be added. So this will depend on, again, the strategy that you're doing, whether you're going to drop in the parent or the child ASINs. Uh, say, for example, if there's only like two of the child ASINs under that parent, that you want to run the coupon on, you know, maybe you don't want to drop that parent in there because then it would automatically add it to all the children. But again, so you could have a group of ASINs here in this one that you set up a completely different discount set up for, and then have a different group of ASINs, you know, separated by semicolon dropped in here that you have a different setup for. Keep that in mind when you're building out your strategy. Okay. So again, you're going to do discount type, dollar percent off so you'll choose that here the cool thing is they give you this drop down so you can pick that and coupon discount so if it was the percent off you're going to fill that in here if it was the dollar off you're going to fill that in here and you leave the other one blank coupon title again same thing fill that in they'll give you more of an explanation here just in case you forget set your budget same thing here so it's you know remember this is applying to those products that you've set here so you're going to set the budget specifically for those. Coupon start date, end date, same thing. Limit one per customer or not. So you're going to set that. And then your targeted segment. Let's read that. And the other setup that you're going to actually pick. And they give you the cool drop down here. So you can do all customers, prime members, student members, or family members. Once you get done filling that out, like I said before, you're going to switch back over choose file upload and submit basically that's it okay one other thing i do want to touch on before we end this video is the eligibility you can run the coupon if you have zero reviews but if you do have reviews there is a minimum rating so you need to have at least 2.5 star rating or higher on your products okay if you are you're going to be eligible to run the coupon on that product. And the same thing goes for the seller feedback rating. Okay. So if you haven't received seller feedback, you can submit a coupon, but if you have gotten feedback and that feedback is less than 3.5, you're not going to be able to run your coupons. Okay. So you need to meet these criteria here. Seller filled, filled by Amazon or seller filled prime. Okay, so you can be any of those. Must be in new condition and that's uh, stated again down here because basically you can't run it if it's a used condition, collectibles or certified refurbished. Adult products, no. Any of these here, guns, hunting, sexual wellness, books, etc. You can't do that and cannot have content on the product detail page that may be offensive, embarrassing, or inappropriate. Generally, if you have stuff like that on your listing anyway, it's probably going to get suppressed or delisted. So careful with that anyway. Okay, so one last really awesome benefit to note here as far as coupons is those coupons are going to show up on this deals page here that Amazon has created. So that's an additional benefit. Amazon shoppers are probably more intelligent than ever. And they, I'm sure they, a lot of them know this exists. So they'll specifically be going here to look for what deals are available and you'll be able to get additional sales just from having your coupons active and showing up on this page. So yeah, guys, make sure you're adding this into your marketing and advertising strategy for 2022 and beyond, as long as you're on Amazon. And yeah, if you got some value out of this, definitely leave me a like, 
shoot me a comment, whether you liked it or didn't like it, or you think I missed something, or you want me to cover something else, let me know in the comments. Like I said, in the next video I'm gonna be doing, I'm gonna be talking about Amazon Vendor Central. So that's something you could watch for the future as you scale up your business. Maybe that might be something you move into, or you may know someone that's on Vendor Central that you could shoot that video over to that you know, maybe they'll get some value out of it. But yeah, until next time, I'll see you in the next one.